In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the HTML strike through tag to put a line through text on your page, and we're getting started right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you get better at coding so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, or for your business. If it's your first time here, make sure you click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's get into the screen capture of this tutorial. I'll see you there. To illustrate how this works, I'm just going to show you in the HTML code on the left hand side here. We have a very basic page. We see it renders on the right. And in the past, the tag that you would use is called strike, which is very aptly named. And it still works. However, HTML5 does not support that tag anymore. So we see that it's still, it's still working, but it's not future-proof. They could drop support. I mean, they don't, they don't support it, but they still render it. But they could drop that rendering at any time, and it won't work anymore. So don't use strike if you want to do a strike through like this. Instead, use a tag called DLE, short for delete. And the closing tag DLE, which does a strike through, we can see it right here, looks the exact same as the first one. And you can also use a tag called S. Opening and closing S, we wrap what we want to strike through with the S tag and we see here the strike through is applied and it looks the exact same as the other two. So that's three different ways that you can do the strike through and something you may want to consider adding to your repertoire is the CSS strike through function which is even better than using the ones in HTML because it will be easier for you to edit in the future because you're supposed to keep all your styles in your CSS style sheet and you can apply the strike through in multiple places really easily. So to illustrate this, I'm just going to wrap a couple of pieces of text here in a span tag. And this could be any tag that you want, really. CSS can apply to the strike through to anything. But I'm just going to apply to the span tag that I created. Open and close curly brackets. And we're going to type text decoration, because that's the property we need. And then we are going to type um, line through, I believe is what it's called. I think it's with a dash. Refresh this page. Oh, I didn't wrap this in a style tag. My bad. Always have to wrap the CSS in style tags like that. Now refresh the page again. And now we see here is that, here's the one we added with the span tag right here in the code. And what we can also do is using that CSS, the exact same uh, property, we can use underline as the value. So that moves the line under. We can use, or the, well, the one other one we can use is overline, which adds the line over. It looks like an underline from the, the, the sentence above, but it's actually not, it's, it's a line over this text. And that may or may not be useful. However, having all your styles in your CSS is a much better way to go than using these uh, strike, del, or s HTML tags. So now you have the option to use either CSS or HTML. Choice is up to you. I recommend CSS. So that's how easy it is to create strike throughs using HTML. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click on the subscribe button, then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome content, and then click on that card that just appeared in the top right of this video for some awesome resources. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.